We're rolling, yes. Okay. We're going to be in your notepad bit. We're, we're going to start up some stuff here. So kind of shake off. Give your Either give yourself the pat on the back or shake off what was going on on quiz number one for right now. Either way, we're going to be good because it's just the first one. We're going to be on page two in your... Now what we can call your quiz help packet, okay? And so just just kind of a kind of a hint for future reference. When you come in, I purposefully will put up on that front screen where we're gonna be at in the notes if we are, and where we're gonna be at in the packet, so you can kind of be ready to roll with stuff like that. And so we're going to be starting up here on the on page two in your packet. And for some of you that have been asking, you're like, this is algebra class. This doesn't look a lot like algebra yet, at least in some ways. Aren't we going to solve something? We are. We are absolutely going to be doing those things. And so today our main focus is going to be on solving two-step equations. So, when we're doing these, basically there's two pairs that we have to keep track of here. And that is add and subtract your buddies, multiply and divide your buddies. And so if I ever want to get one out of the way, the other is always perfectly willing to distract the other to get us done. These are opposites and these are opposites. Okay, if you're multiplying by something by 8 and then you divide it, it undoes it. If you're adding something by 6 and then you subtract it, you're undoing it. So when we tend to do two-step equations, it's in our best interest, and we've got it here on the sheet, that if there's any adding or subtracting to do first, that's what we want to do. So, just a second here. So what we're going to want to do here is see what I like to do at least is I always want to find where my variable is in any problem and I box that in first. You're like, okay, why would you do that? Because that's the end game. I want that by itself. I want to solve for that. So in this case, my first job is to undo the minus 19. And we undo minus or subtract with plus. So that's going to eliminate it over here. And then again, if need be, you do not have to be a superhero on this at this point. If we're getting the steps down and you need to take a moment and be like, okay, I got to plug this in my calculator to get me some help here. Remember, sorry for the shininess there. This is the negative button. So like when I have negative four there, that's the button I want. Otherwise, the calculator is not going to like what we're doing. So I can get that first step down. And once I've got that set, now I still want to get n by itself, but I'm multiplying it by 12 because I don't see any pluses or minuses there. The opposite of multiply is to divide. Now, just to give you a heads up, 
when you're in here, it will be rare that I have decimals for answers, unless we're doing like an application with money or something. So you're like, okay, 15 over 12. If I hit 15 divided by 12, I get a decimal. So, okay, I already said don't put the decimal, so am I done? Not quite. With the calculators in here, we've got a way to get it to its simplest fraction very easily. So let's make a little note here. You're like, okay, so what does that mean? So if you ever have a fraction or a decimal and you want to do some simplify, we'll make note of that. Because otherwise you're going to look later and you're going to be like, what did he even do that for? Why did I write this down? Once I get my fraction or my decimal in, this math button that's right below that green alpha, if you hit that and you just hit enter twice, you're saying, hey, turn it into a fraction. One more time to say, do it. You will get the simplest fraction form, which is what you're going to see on my answer. Now, would I take that if you're on a quiz? Sure. But if you want to be able to check answers and be doing it absolutely correctly, that's what we're going to want to do. So that's what we're rolling with on all of these. Here, same thing. I need to get the plus 8 out of there because that is not directly connected to my F. So I do the opposite. The opposite of plus 8 is to minus 8. Fractions are just a fancy way of doing division. So the opposite of divide, huh? we back it up. We're going to multiply. And again, when you do get into the practice shortly when we get here, keep this out. You're going to have examples that can ride you right along to success if you let it happen. Okay. At this point, we are not graphing yet with the inequalities. We're just doing the inequalities, treating it just like we would an equation, and going about our business. Now, three, it, I'm not going to say it's tricky, but we got to be cautious because we look, we're like, okay, I want the 10x by itself. This nine, you're like, like what am I doing with it? Like, I don't see any symbols in front here to tell me. That symbol is here is actually telling me the plus. I'm adding 9 to this. So undo adding. With subtract. And again, our goal... get that alone we're multiplying by 10 it's important that when you're doing these especially if they have the inequality arrows that you're leaving the inequality arrow for now alone you're not changing things like, you can't do this step and then put the x over here and the 4 over there. You just change the value of the problem. So whenever an arrow is there, wherever your x is, make sure your x is staying where it belongs, on the right side, so we don't have little mix-ups with some of that. One last one. Now, this gets even crazier. You're like, okay, I got this, Hardy. That's going to be like minus 7. No. Okay. If you don't see a sign in front of something, we even could have said this on this one. It's like there's a little plus or a little positive there if you wanted to look at it that way. So again, that's a positive 7 there that we're trying to get out of there. So again, positive or add, we do the opposite. Okay, with the minus or a negative. 
when you're going to type that in your calculator. Okay, here comes the crazy again. Now I want minus. Minus is the gray button. If I try to do negative, and I'll show you here in a second, so you're like, okay, five minus seven is negative two. If I do five and the little negative seven, it, it doesn't it doesn't like it very much. So negative two. I'm not subtracting one here, okay? If it was subtracting, it would say x minus 1 or 1 minus x, but it doesn't. This is multiplying, and the opposite of multiply is going to be to divide. That's one of the tricky things with these is getting used to that. And negative divided by negative is positive. Take it in pieces. It probably won't all flow the very first day that we're doing this. That's why we see it multiple days. So, again, I'm keeping this handy, and I also, I'm going to date this. That way, if I'm looking at my stuff later, I know what to go back, what's going to match up in the practice page here. But I'm going to keep this handy. I'm going to slide it up for a minute. And we're going to be over here. On page 11 over to 12. And we're going to start working through some of these. Now, I'm not going to go through a ton of them because, again, you've got direct examples right here in front of you to work with but i'm just looking through to see let's do this somebody pick me one question on the front then we're going to do the same thing on the back i'll do one on each side with you just kind of get you rolling and then I'll float around as you're, as you're kind of working through. Remembering, again, there's an answer key up front, and they're on Classroom 2 under Answers. So which one do you think you should do on the front? Yes, video, we are still rolling. Oh, it's going to be hard to use in the randomizer on the calculator, really? Okay, I can randomize. Seven it is, okay. So again, box in that variable. Do the opposite of what you see on the outside. To both sides, not just the side where you're trying to eliminate stuff. We've got to keep balance. And here's the situation. I'm glad this one kind of came up where we don't want to freak out. You're like, Hardy, it's zero. What do I do? The same as if we're any other number. Punch that into the calculator if you want to. Zero divided by eight is zero. You're on your way. You're in business. Just got to keep playing with opposites until we get there. Now, let's see if, if I can. I have an idea on the back for our last one if, if nobody is going to have a suggestion for me here. Because here on the back, there's actually two I want to talk about. Because they both kind of help with some of you that may be thinking about redoing the last quiz. So, first things first. So 17 and 18. Then I will then I will get out of the way. When you distribute a fraction, you have two ways you can do it. Again, we're multiplying. So you can do the top number, the numerator, times 10. You could do 2 times 10 is 20. 
divided by five is four, and you're like, whoa, what magic did you just do there? I'm not sure what you were up to. Okay, not all is not lost. Do not see the fraction and panic. I can hit two divided by five in my calculator in parentheses and type in the number and get the number part as well. I gotta remember the X, that I gotta do on my own. But as far as this goes, I can absolutely get help. Not like terms, can't put them together. There's no equal sign. We're just simplifying. We're not solving, okay? There's nothing else to do. 18, and this was an issue on the quiz, so I'm glad we have a chance to kind of chat about it here for a minute. The three has to multiply times the two, and again, calculator's here if you need it, but also times the negative one. Draw the arrows in to remind you of that. And we're going to do the same thing here with the 4. I multiply it times the x. I multiply it times the 6. But then I don't get to stop quite yet because I go back and I look and I go, wait a minute. This is x and so is this. Watch your signs. 6 plus 4 is 10. Don't mess with the exponent. It's not x squared. I'm not multiplying here. We're just adding now. We're just adding and subtracting. Again, watch those signs in the middle. Negative 3 plus 24. Positive 21. Not the same. I'm done. 